This is a complete tutorial on how to dropship on Amazon from Printful. What is going on? My name is George. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to build a successful Shopify dropshipping business, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so I'm super excited for this video because in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know exactly step by step on how you can start dropshipping on Amazon from Printful. Now, just a quick disclaimer, some of you might think that you need a business to start it. And I do wanna say in advance that no, you don't need a business. Anyone can start dropshipping on Amazon from Printful. So with that in mind, let's jump right inside the presentation. All right, so welcome to the Amazon dropshipping from Printful complete tutorial. Now, let's get started. First off, this is what we're gonna cover in this presentation. So, benefits of selling on Amazon, the obstacles when selling on Amazon, checklist of what you will need to start to dropship on Amazon, how to set up your Amazon Seller Central account, how to apply for a GTIN exemption, how to fix the 5665 issue, adding your first product on Amazon from Printful, and if you stay until the end of this video, I'm also going to give you bonuses such as how to find winning designs. I'm gonna give you my top five selling designs and there's gonna be even more. All right, so the first thing is benefits of selling on Amazon. Now, the first and the most important benefit is free traffic. Now, when we're selling on Amazon, we don't need to pay for traffic up front. There are over 200 million active users each month. Now, the second benefit of selling on Amazon is that people trust Amazon. The conversion rate on Amazon is about 13% for non-Prime members and 74% from Prime members. And the third benefit is global exposure. So you can choose to sell in the United States, Canada, Mexico, Europe, Australia, Japan, and so forth. All right, so now let's quickly cover some of the obstacles when selling on Amazon. The first one is high preview fee. Now, as I said in the previous slide, there are no upfront costs to selling on Amazon. However, when you make a sale, Amazon is gonna take part of that money as a fee for giving you that sale. Now, the next two obstacles when selling on Amazon is the GTIN exemption and the 5665 error. Now, I'm gonna cover both of these obstacles later on in this presentation, and I'm also going to show you step-by-step step on how to solve these obstacles. All right, so here's a quick checklist of what you need to start dropshipping on Amazon. So you will need an Amazon Seller Central account, a Printful account, as well as time and patience. So. Let's start with how to set up your Amazon seller account. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to services.amazon.com. Now scroll down the page below the heading, start selling on Amazon today. Choose which kind of seller account you'd like to start with. Now, I recommend you start with an individual account, and then later on, you can change to professional once you sell more than 40 items per month. Number four, enter your email and select create new account. Number five, enter your personal information and create a password. Number six, Amazon seller agreement and business information. Now, you don't need to have a legal business entity to sell on Amazon, as I said in the beginning of this video. If you're registering as an individual seller, you can list it under your given name. Number seven, you need to input your business's information and verify that you're not a robot. Number eight, set up your billing and deposit methods. And number nine, after that, boom, you're in. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you here is how to apply for a GTIN exemption. But first, let's break down what is GTIN. Amazon requires that the products you sell on its marketplaces have a GTIN or a global trade item number. However, if you sell products through Printful, they won't have a GTIN. So you have to request exemption from Amazon. This is how you do it. First off, you go to Printful. Now, by the way, I do wanna say that I'm not going to show you how to make a Printful account because it is very straightforward. You don't need to have any special information except for your personal information. So, once you have your Printful account, go to Printful. On the left hand, click Stores, View Store, Settings, and then Amazon GTIN Exemption. Here you will see this page where it's gonna say number one, fill out support letter, download, and also forth. What you wanna do is you wanna fill out the letter, you wanna download the letter, you wanna physically sign it, and then you wanna upload it back onto your computer and click Submit 
here for the North American marketplace. Number three, when you click the submit button, you'll be redirected to this page on Amazon. Here you'll have to enter some extra info about your brand. Enter that you're requesting an exemption for branded products because you sell private label products, okay? That's the reason. The second thing is that select that you have a brand support letter. And then three, enter the product categories and you sell and link to your website or downloadable images of your products. Printful products fall under seven categories. So these are the seven categories that you wanna make sure you choose when you're applying for the GTN exemption. And then the fourth thing you wanna do is you wanna upload your brand support letter and wait. After you submit your request, you'll have to wait for a few days for Amazon to review. They'll send you an email once it has been approved. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you how to fix the 5665 error. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add a new product to Amazon from Printful. Once you go through all the process, you will see this issue right here. It's gonna say that Amazon must approve your brand before you can use it to list products. What you want to do is you want to screenshot that error. Third thing you want to do is you want to order a t-shirt from Printful with your brand name on the inside label, okay? You will need a branded t-shirt to fix the 5665 error in the next step and this is very important, okay? Number four, once you receive your t-shirt, you want to open a case with Amazon to resolve the 5665 issue, okay? You want to take pictures of your branded t-shirt so the brand name can be seen clearly. Attach images of your t-shirt as well as the 5665 or a screenshot to the case, submit it, and then wait. Amazon is gonna take a while to get back to you, but once they do, they're gonna approve your brand and you'll be able to upload products from Printful onto Amazon. Once you have the brand approval from Amazon and you're registered, you can go ahead and start adding your first product to Amazon directly from Printful. And this is how you do it. So you go to stores, you choose your store, the Amazon one, and you click add product. Here, you will choose which product you wanna add. You will then add your design and proceed to mockup. Right here, I, I just put a little bit Alexis, okay? Then you click proceed to mockups. You choose which mockup you want. Now, I recommend for Amazon, you just use the default mockup on the white background, and then you click proceed to description. I usually just keep the default description, and then for the product title, you wanna optimize for the keywords that are on Amazon, you know? So maybe you wanna put the name, dad hat, dad cap, baseball hat, and stuff like that, right? So you wanna optimize, you wanna put in different keywords that people can be searching for for this hat. Then you click proceed to pricing. Let me touch quickly about the profit. When you Remember I talked about earlier that there is a uh, preview fee with Amazon. Now the preview fee on Amazon as a, one of the obstacles was that it was a high fee, right? Now that depends on the price of your product, but if you're selling a 25 to 30 product, $30 product on Amazon like I do, the preview fee is going to be anywhere from five to seven dollars, right? So to ensure that we are keeping a profit, we wanna have our profit at around 10 to $12, okay? That's gonna be a healthy margin for us. Once you set the profit, click to proceed to marketplaces. Now, here, depending on which market you got the GTN exemption for, is going to determine which marketplaces you wanna choose here. Now, if you applied only for the .com, choose the .com, right? But if you went ahead and you applied for all three of them, right, the Amazon.com, the Canadian, and the the Mexican one, then please choose all three, right? That depends on where you apply for the GTN exemption. And then you just click submit to store. It's gonna take about 15 minutes or so, but once you know it goes through that process, boom, you will see your product on, your, uh, on Amazon. And that's going to be your first product on Amazon ever. As you can see here, a little bit of Lexus, that's an existing product I have in my store. So I just use that as an example. And citycap.co is actually my store that I run on every single day. You can check it out, just type in citycaps.co. I have nothing to hide, so yeah. Let's talk about the bonuses. So as I promised you, there's gonna be bonuses at the end of the video for those of you who stayed. So, um, how to find winning designs, right? So to find winning designs, there's a quick little hack, which is Etsy. Now on Etsy, depending on which products you wanna work with, right? Let's say you wanna work with mugs. So 
the way Etsy does is that whenever you search something, the first list of products is going to be what's selling really well right now, right? So it all it, it updates all the time, so you want to check in regularly. But you know, in this case, I searched in mug and I looked for a text-based design because text-based designs are very easy to replicate, right? You don't need to design anything, you just literally type in the text and boom, you have a winning product. So right here. The mug says, I make awesome decisions in guitar shop. So I went ahead, I took this text, I recreated it in Printful. It looks a little bit different, but if you work a little bit with it, it's gonna, you know, look the same. And voila, I can now push this product onto Amazon. No trademark problems, nothing at all. Just push it in and, you know, whenever someone is going to be looking at it and he likes to buy it and he buys it from you, you're gonna make a profit. Printful is gonna make everything for you. Easy. Now there are a couple of more bonuses that I want to give you. First of all, I want to invite you to join my free Facebook group. This is going to be the first link down in the description. The goal with this Facebook group is I want to collect a group of like-minded people and then we can share information between each other, right? We can interact. You can ask me questions directly. I can help you out. So yeah, if you do, if you want to do that, it's going to be the first link down in the description. Now, also, if you want to download the slide, there's going to be a link in the description. So you don't have to rewatch this video. You can just refer to these slides whenever you want to, you know, register with an Amazon account or so forth. Okay. And then the third bonus that I want to give you is you can download my top five selling designs on citycaps.co. So that's also going to be down in the description. Make sure you download it. I'm just going to ask you for your email. But besides that, you're free to use it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it valuable. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one.